The high rate of abandoned infrastructure projects in the Federal Capital Territory is of concern to the authorities. This prompted an inspection tour of projects in the Koje Area Council of the FCT Minister of State, Ramatu Tijani. Mairam Mohammed reports. Kuje is one of the largest area councils in the Nigerian capital Abuja. It is known as the food basket of the FCT, but it is burdened with challenges of poor infrastructure like bad roads. <laughs> the FCT Minister of State has come to the community to assess its infrastructural projects. She assures residents that all abandoned projects will be completed while urging them to manage the facilities well once they are ready for use. We are going around to make sure we inspect government abandoned projects, abandoned roads, or roads ongoing to see how we we'll expedite action, especially that Mr. President said all ongoing projects or abandoned projects must be completed. The Area Council Chairman seeks collaboration with the FCT authorities in improving internal revenue. The community leaders also make known efforts to control crimes in the area. We are asking for further collaboration with the FCT to improve the idea with the emphasis on FCT IRA so as to augment the federation allocation. Greater at earlier seat. Kuja's traditional ruler feels quick completion of the community's roads project will make the environment safer. The completion of Kuja Peggy Road which I know you have considered that one already. The completion of Kuji Apple Road, very, very important to the community here. Construction and rehabilitation of Kuji to Airport Express Road. We are looking into the areas of insecurity, and we can see we are enjoying some calm. Uh, averagely, it is, it is OK. For even this road we have applied now, Kuji Gwagweleda Road will be looking into, it will be looked into, and we have um, uh, there is even a contract already awarded and we've called upon the contractor to revisit that and uh, come back to uh, return to site. The area council's residents are hoping the minister's visits finally puts a stop to issues of poor infrastructure and insecurity.